Okay, this is going to be a quick vid of this uh, JB2000, not mine. Uh, kind of a friend of mine, CB friends, because I don't work on other people's stuff anymore. Too many headaches. But anyway, um, the 3500Z, one of them wasn't lighting, and I've already made a video on the sockets and pins and resoldering and all that. And this is just showing that uh, it's lighting up and... Um, we also did a little bit of um, bypassing with the uh, band switch stuff and the tank circuit. We just made it direct contacts and tightened up some loose wires and some loose screws on it um, and hooked the band switch up directly. So even though we left all the rest of the ham bands in this thing, um, it's basically uh, the band switch is bypassed and it's got um, 10 meters in it only. This is the JB2000 1080, and the 1080 st stood for 10 through 80 meters, and you can see the uh, band switch on it, and it has a um, plate, wow, he got low, most people call that a plate tune, a tune cap, and then underneath it is the load cap, um, and the difference between a 1080 and some of the other Black Cat JB2000s is again the uh, 1080 got the 10 through 80 meter bands in it and the ones that were set up for um, 10 meters only a JB2000 1011 or a JB2006 the, uh, they had a low cap or a plate tune cap in it but it was fixed it wasn't variable so only thing you could vary was the load when you have a, a, a amp that's made for one band and you got a certain set of tubes in it um, you can just uh, uh, match the uh, load or the tune well I keep getting them mixed up now seeing that load the tune to the tubes because basically the plate tune cap there tunes the tube and the load tunes the antenna, if that makes any sense. Even though they interact with each other and all that. So if you're doing a narrow band like CB, you can put in a fixed cap on that because you know, you're not varying all over the place and need to change the frequency and vary the cap. But anyway, didn't want to get into all that discussion on this one. Just showing this thing uh, working now and uh, obviously the tubes are lighting up. One thing we did notice on this one, um, maybe I'll make another video on it, is um, the filter caps, it has six in series or 100 UF. Uh, that's not enough. So this one has a little bit of voltage and regulation problems, a little bit of humming. And I think it needs those caps, but it is working. And first of all, we're going to show the driver, little JB200 uh, or AKA JB76. Um, two piece the power supply is <laughs> up there for it um, this is what I modified it also had a fixed tune cap just like its big brother over here and I made a variable um, for this one so it has a tune and load on the side and also the um, the drive level or the output tuner on the back that tunes the amount of watts and dead key that this thing does. But anyway, uh, we got a variable for that. And we got a variable bias on the transformer up here. So we can turn the dead key up and down with the bias. And also variable, uh, the variable on the back of it. Um, but anyway, 200 watt scale, just the uh, JB200 or JB76. Audio, audio. So it did keen about 5 watts. Audio, audio, talking about 90 RMS. <whistles> Listening to about 120 RMS. And let's see what we doing, Pete. Audio, 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 about 175, Pete. Low dead key, a lot of swing. And we're going to dump that into the um, JB2000. Uh, let's go to the. 2000 watt scale. We got a foot switch that we are using to key this amp. And uh, right quick, uh, the proper way to do a foot switch is you key the foot switch first, 
which I'm going to do now. You can see the plate current uh, meter there. That's showing that, you know, the uh, relay's connected. It's drawing a little current and, you know, um, with no drive. And then you key the mic. That way you're not hot switching. You're uh, not keying the amp with the uh, drive going into it. So anyway, we're on the 2000 watt scale. Audio. Audio. We're talking about 900 watts. What's on about 1150? And that's average. And last we're gonna put it on peak. Foot switch, then key to mic. Audio. 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 Talking about uh 1550, 1600 peak watts. Hello, hello, that's the plate current meter. And anyway, that's it on this uh JB 2000 One other thing about the foot switch though. Uh, to do it correctly, you key it down first, the amp, then you key the uh, radio or the drive, and then you unkey the radio, which I did right there, and then you let go of the foot switch. That keeps the uh, relays happy because you're not turning on the relay with drive in it or turning off the relay with power going through the relay. You'll kill a relay pretty quick with that. But anyway, um, that's it for this one. Just wanted to show the... Uh, JB2000 doing what it's supposed to do. Alright, bye.